In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix rounded back posture for instant relief. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. O coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, I'm going to go over multiple stretching exercises that are going to target tight, achy, stiff muscles that might be causing a rounded or hunched back appearance in the upper back. All of these exercises just hit the area a little bit differently. So go through all of them and take what is most effective at getting rid of that rounded back posture. As a bonus, all of these exercises can be done at home, possibly at work, and may give you quick relief, even in as little as 30 seconds. And they do not require any special equipment. So let's get started and get rid of that rounded back posture right now. A major cause of a rounded or hunchback appearance is because of forward-leaning posture. Think using computers, driving, everything in the modern world. Here is an easy three-part exercise that's going to build more extension or backwards movement into the back to hopefully counterbalance that. We can use a couple items for this one. If you have a foam roller, that works great. And you might be surprised, but a large, I'm going to be using an extra large athletic or sports cup because the contour of the shape really is able to hit in between the spine extremely well. It's actually shaped like a very popular back stretcher that rhymes with track mod. But for our purposes, since I want to show a way to use this exercise without any special equipment, I'm going to be using a tasty can of beef barley soup. We'll also need a large rolled up bath towel for this. So let's start off by getting into position. You're going to want to do this one on the floor. If we're using a can of soup, we're going to place it widthwise across the upper back. If you are using the athletic cup, you'll want to put it lengthwise like this where the narrow tip right here is going to be facing towards your head. If you are using the foam roller, just do it lengthwise also like this. So let's get started. I'm going to place my towel over the can of soup or the athletic cup if you're using that. If you're using a foam roller, you won't need the towel. Let's try to position this soup can directly over the most pronounced spot in the upper back. You want this directly over the spine, just going over a little bit. So this is a three-part process. What I'm going to do for the first part is a simple wall angel. That is pretty much allowing my upper back to go into extension like this. If you do feel like you need more support underneath your neck, you're more than welcome to place a pillow underneath. But the movement from here is very simple. Let's bend the elbows at 90 degrees, bring them down like this. Let gravity take your arm weight down as much as you can. You're going to feel a very good stretch into the chest. From here, what I want to do is just a simple motion of pretty much raising my arms up like this and then lowering them back down. You're going to feel the muscles in the upper back really start to fire, including around the chest. You want to do this nice and slowly. It should take you about five seconds to go all the way down and then five seconds to come back up. And try to do this one for about 10 to 12 complete repetitions. From there, what I'm going to do is known as a snow angel, and it hits the muscles just a little bit differently. So my palms up towards the ceiling, I'm going to do just a nice motion of going all the way down towards my legs and then coming all the way back up. Imagine that you're on the grass, I should say outside in winter, making a nice snow angel. It's the same type of movement. Again, you want to do this one, and it should take you about five seconds to go all the way up and five seconds to go all the way down. And really focus on trying to take the arms down as much as you can because that will build more extension into the back, 10 to 12 complete repetitions. From there, we can do what are known as swimmers. So what I'm going to do is pull my arms up like this, and then I'm going to do nice circular arcs, just up and down, just like this. And again, you'll notice that the muscles get hit just a little bit differently. What these are focusing on doing is building extension into the back, but really also helping to loosen and strengthen things and build coordination, which will hopefully lead to better overall posture. You can do this and then go in reverse with it too, and notice that it will hit it a little bit differently. Take what is most effective at really just stretching those muscles out. But you want to do this one nice and slow. It should take you about five seconds to do a complete motion and try to do it for about 10 to 12 repetitions in both directions. 
Here is a rounded back exercise that's perfect for office workers or students that have to lean forward throughout the day. The first one is known as a sprinkler. So I'm going to start seated with very good posture. Let's do a simple chin tuck like this. My arms are going to go straight out in front of me, straight at the elbows to the point where the hands are going to be able to clap. I want to take one arm back straight like this as far as I can go. Really focus on trying to drive that arm back and feeling an activation of the muscles into the upper back. Once we hit a very comfortable stretch. Let's hold this one for about 20 seconds. From there, you're going to relax, come back, and then repeat it on the other side. What this does is it really hits the muscles in the upper back around the shoulder blades and hopefully we'll start to retrain them to draw those shoulder blades back. What I'm going to do is this movement right here for five complete repetitions on both sides. With each repetition, try to go back a little bit further with it because it's only going to help improve posture and hopefully strengthen those muscles leading to, again, a less rounded back posture. The second one what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, sit upright, do that chin tuck again, put my hands behind my head just like this, and I'm going to do a simple winging of the elbows. And then what I'm going to do is place my back on the chair and then just simply go back into extension. So a backwards movement with the back. And this usually feels really good. You should feel it stretch into the chest. You should also feel the shoulder blades in the back really start to pinch together. But you want to hold this one for a nice comfortable stretch for about 20 seconds. From there, you're just going to relax, take a breather, and then you're going to repeat this one for five complete repetitions. Just a good way to really focus on improving posture, stretch everything out, and hopefully lead to less rounded back posture. So here is a great way to not only stretch everything out, but also strengthen weak muscles in the upper back that may be leading to that rounded back appearance. The first part, let's just get everything stretched out. And the easiest way to do that is with the doorway or door frame method. I'm just going to go up to a door frame. My feet are going to go together. My arms are going to go straight like this till the point where they're shaped it like a Y. So straight at the elbow, go up towards the door frame corners. What I want to do from there is then lean into it with my body weight. The more that we lean into it, the more that you're going to feel a very good stretch into the chest, but also in between the shoulder blades. So once we hit a comfortable stretch, let's hold this for at least 20 seconds. From there, you're just going to relax, take a breather, and then repeat this three to five times. With each repetition, what you want to do is focus on going forward even more because you'll get a better better stretch into the upper back. The second movement, I'm going to go into what I call the field goal. So my arms go down like this, elbows bent roughly at 90 degrees. From there, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to use my body weight to lean into it. You're going to notice that this hits the muscles in the front, the chest, and in between the back just a little bit differently. And that's good because we want to target a lot of muscle groups. Hold this one for at least 20 seconds. You're going to relax and then you're going to repeat this one for three to five times. The last movement, I'm going to go down to the point where my elbows and my arms kind of look like a W, and then you're going to repeat this. Again, you're going to feel the muscles get hit just a little bit differently. Three to five repetitions for 20 seconds. From there, let's focus on trying to strengthen them a little bit more. The movements in the strengthening part are going to be very similar to the ones in the stretching, but we're going to challenge the muscles and really try to fight fatigue that occurs during the day that might be leading to that rounded back posture. Let's take a large rolled up bath towel. You can also use a broomstick, a large PVC pipe, anything that is long and sturdy. What I want to do is straighten the arms out at the elbow just like this, and then we're going to form that Y that we did earlier in that stretching video. The difference is what I'm going to do is a scapular retraction. So I'm going to pull on my towel as much as I can. Elbows are going to be straight and then I'm going to just bring it back overhead like this as much as I can. When you do this, you're really going to feel the muscles in the upper back in between the shoulder blades also into the chest really start to fire. So challenge yourself. Really try to bring this back as much as you can. Once we hit that point, let's slowly lower the towel down to form that W shape with our elbows and our arms. You're really going to feel a great stretch happen with so many muscles. Once we hit a very comfortable stretch into the back, let's hold this for 20 seconds. From there, you're going to come back up and just 
go back into that Y position. On the next repetition, challenge yourself to even come back further because it's only going to help stretch and strengthen these muscles out even more. And then you're going to repeat this for five complete repetitions. If you do feel that one spot during this movement, like let's say it's right here for me, becomes very tight, maybe achy, what I want to do is focus on that one just a little bit more, stretch into it, really try to get that movement a little bit more even because you might find that it just helps stretch everything out and improves your back posture. So with this rounded back exercise, we're going to let gravity do all of the work and do a nice decompression traction stretch into the back to loosen everything up. This one you can do in bed or even on a couch. I'm going to start off on my back with a rolled up towel pretty much over the middle part. You want, if you look at your back, the rounded portion, wherever it is most pronounced, you wanna put the towel over that to start off with. From there, I'm going to do a simple chin tuck, take my hands, put them on the back of my head like this. Let's wing the elbows back down towards the floor as much as we can, and then let gravity take our upper body weight. This feels really good. You're going to feel a very good stretch into the chest, also over the area of the towel. You can hold this position right here for an extended period of time. 30 seconds, 45 seconds, even a minute if you feel comfortable. Just do nice, slow, controlled breathing. Allow the tension to be taken out. From there, you can relax, take a breather, and then you can repeat this up to five times. Challenge yourself with each repetition too to drive the elbows down and just let your upper body weight, including your head weight, just be taken down by gravity. To make this harder, what you can do is take your arms like this, pretty much extend them straight at the elbow, Overlap the hands and then just allow that to just, again, be taken down by gravity. You'll notice that this becomes a little bit more intense, so only go to your comfort level. But experiment with this one too and see if that one hits it a little bit more. If you still feel like you need to take this one to the next level, what you can do is use a simple weight. I'm going to be using a one liter water bottle. You can use a small dumbbell also. Just grab it like this at the hands and then straighten the elbows like this and do the same thing. But the more weight that you have in the arms like this, the more it's going to pull over that area. So only go to to your comfort level. You want to have this feel like a nice even stretch. But from there what you can do is experiment by moving up and a little bit down from the back. Try to find that sweet spot that just feels like it's hitting the back just a little bit more because it's going to target it a little bit more efficiently. So if you stuck around and watched the whole video, you're going to be rewarded with arguably the best exercise there is to help fix a rounded back. This is known as a shoulder blade liftoff. We just need a door or a wall. What I'm going to do is place my feet together and then angle them slightly away from this door. And then I'm just going to use my upper body weight to lean into it. So we want our body just at a very slight angle. From there, I'm going to take my chin, tuck it towards my chest, bend the elbows at 90 degrees like this, and then press into the door with my elbows. That's very important during this exercise. What we're going to do is use our strength to press our weight into the door and then push ourselves off like this. So it shouldn't feel like anything else is moving in the body, almost like our body is a pole or just a plank of wood. You want to focus on driving forward to lift the body off as much as you can. You're going to feel a great activation in between the shoulder blades. It should almost feel like those muscles are firing, the chest is firing, and the shoulder blades are pinching into the back. Try to hold this position for at least 20 seconds, but if you feel comfortable, you can challenge yourself. Work up towards a half minute or longer. And then when we need a break, just take one, relax, and then repeat this one up to five times. With each repetition, try to drive forward even more. Challenge yourself. Really work those muscles because it's only going to help strengthen everything and hopefully lead to less issues of a rounded back posture in the future. If you liked the video and it helped, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.